Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys didn't know, I am a pilot. Uh, today I'm here with one of my best friends, Ethan Rogers. Don't get him confused with my brother, Ethan Travels, um, who I just had on my channel. So today we are in a graveyard. <laughs> we are um, at San Marcos graveyard and we are going to be exploring all the broken down abandoned planes graveyards are basically where every abandoned plane goes and we have a ton of them uh to our disposal to talk about today and i'm super excited to show you guys because this is one of my favorite parts of aviation that not many people know about um so yeah let's get into the video all right hey everybody my name's ethan i'm a cfi here at san marcos airport uh, i do a lot of instructing just um private clients and i work for a school called black hound aviation and uh, today we're going to be looking at a couple of broken down planes right here. I have a Brasilia uh, or an Embraer 120. And uh, this one here was kind of stripped for parts mostly. Probably either had a, some kind of crash or some kind of malfunction. And they took what they could off of it to repair their other Brasilias in the fleet. Um, so yeah. Yeah, let's uh, look around at the plane and see the damage. Yeah. <laughs> so your, your engine's obviously gone. Yeah, you can't uh, go. <laughs> can't go far without an engine. I guess let's go. Uh, it looks like they took off the leading edge here too. Of the wing. Yeah. So nothing on there. Not even tall enough to get most of the damage. All the wires and piping that they have going on. Uh, so as we come around to this angle, you're gonna see that the nose cone is gone. They actually mount like a. I forgot how expensive it is, but it's somewhere north of like $16,000 for a radar dish right in the nose. Um, so pretty expensive. If you know in the comments how expensive it was, go ahead and drop a comment. Um, the stairs, which actually still work and still lock closed inside. You'll see a lot of the parts that they actually stripped out of it. Yep, the stairs work just barely, but, <laughs> but it still does its job. And here you see a bunch of trash. Um, oh, I feel sketch going in this, but I will go in here for you guys. There we go. Oh, oh wow, the cockpit is stripped. They did not leave a single, single thing left. Um, and then here, everything is pretty much stripped. As you can see, I'm 5'3", so it's a bit short, um, but it still works. And then if we go up here... Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can see the cockpit is completely stripped and I should not be touching any of those wires that are, you know, trying there's to touch me. There's no way there's any batteries plugged into this right now. And you can see the actual ground through the cockpit. Such a nice feature <laughs> that not many people know of. Um, and you can see the wiring kind of stripped out. So they did strip this all for parts. Um, I'm guessing, and over here they just have a bunch of junk that we might go through. <laughs> Maybe Some there's of these something. Things would make a kick-ass coffee table, dude. Yeah, um, a lot of the things that end up here we take just because there's not much else. Like, look at that. <laughs> the potential. Hello. <laughs> the earning potential is amazing. Uh, if you go to one of these abandoned places, but overall. And then we have to get down on these sketchy stairs, but there's not much else to see other than just how, you know, uh, damaged it really is. And we'll go straight down and try not to die while we're doing it. Oh, jeez. Nice. Nice. And now we get a nice, uh, you know, view of the plane. So these aircraft are either owned by a private collector who's, you know, trying to fix them up or they've been straight up abandoned. Like, well, actually, some, some of those planes haven't been abandoned, but some of the planes here have been abandoned and the, uh, the local city or the people that are airport managing are trying to clean up a lot of the abandoned aircraft. And then some of these, like the Metro liner behind you, are actually owned by uh, insurance companies after, you know, the garbage truck crashes into the wing. Um, yep. Yeah, that was an interesting late night phone call. 
Yeah, so uh, I told this story on my YouTube before, but um, yeah, so this is a garbage truck did uh, go straight into this wing. And if we go closer, we can really see the damage uh, the garbage truck did. Um, how the garbage truck man didn't re realize he was about to rip off a wing beats me. <laughs> but that thing is holding on by literally a thread. Um, you can see so much uh, of the inside though, and that's what I think makes it interesting, yeah. is you can really see what makes an airplane and the insides of it. Um, so that's why I wanted to make this video to show you guys just how cool some things that not many people know about. But yeah, definitely, it sucks because this is a fully functioning plane, and it's only the wing that's bad, but replacing wings is so expensive. Yeah, so on this particular airframe, the wing is uh, bolted into and welded to the rest of the airframe. There we go. Let's see what's in it. Oh, oh my God, they're scary. Oh, it smells. It smells so bad. Does it smell bad? And then Ethan found, I, I guess, found an axe. axe. Or well, something. What do you think the axe is for? I don't know, but it looks pointy and sharp. <laughs> it looks pointy and sharp, yeah. You should know this. This man is a CFI. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, man. He, he should know this. So <laughs> Ethan, come up here and explain some of this. Acts. For safety um, procedures. So, over, over here, of course, we have our yolks. Um, I'm guessing this is the powers. Yeah. You might want to put on your uh, oxygen mask. Here. Yeah, we do have oxygen mask. Um, ton. Th um, this is definitely a steam gauge. Old plane. Uh, we have our radio communications over here. So you just, you know. So we're actually inside of what's called a Metro Liner. Uh, I want to say it was made by Fairchild Republic. I can't remember. But they were built in San Antonio, which is not too far from here. So these planes, because of their sort of tubular fuselage, got the nickname the San Antonio Sewer Pipe. Uh, which is, I don't know, it's kind of fun. It kind smells fun like there. we're in a sewer pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can take a look back and uh, you can see where we would either have had passenger seats or, um, you know, leave it empty like this for cargo pallets. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting. All right, guys, we're going to demonstrate how to some of these things. For some reason there's goggles here. Nice. Um, and then we have our oxygen mask. Let me see if I know how to adjust this thing. This thing looks huge. This thing is short as fuck. I don't understand. What? Can I pull it? I guess I'm using this. So I guess the idea is to like put it on your face. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it kind of tastes nasty. Yeah. It's Not that nasty. I'm licking it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can't hear anything in it. That's yeah, good. That's um, cool. It's very old timey. Normally, I use the the little uh, things you put the cannulas. Is that the cannula, yeah. Cannula. I think so. Normally, I use the cannula. Um, and then we have our radio here. Uh, oh, this shit isn't on. It's very old. No, the plane is not on. <laughs> yeah. If you look out your right wing, you'll see that it's missing. Um, here, I'm gonna just swipe this for yeah. a second. Uh, yeah, a garbage truck hit this plane, um, while the plane was on the ground, not while it was in the air. <laughs> yeah, uh, very cool plane, very hot in here, um, smells amazing. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much. Some air vents. Yeah, some, some of your air vents here, very old and smelly. We'll go ahead and... Alright guys, now we get into the segment of why is this plane here? Because it looks perfectly well. Uh, this is a T-34, a subsonic uh, aircraft trainer. The <laughs> one is taken. Um, but as you can see, there's not damage. There's probably damage on the inside. Uh, over here, if you go over here, we have another uh, subsonic trainer that looks very beautiful. Um, I'm not sure why. These went down, but they look perfectly well. If we see over here, we do see damage. So, it doesn't have a tail at all. No rotor or 
they're no property. So that's just kind of fun to pick up the damage here. They probably stripped this for parts um, again, but honestly, very beautiful planes for uh, being in the graveyard and having nobody touch it for years and years. Um, jump here, we can see more of this beauty. And then we can see this United, Air United States Army plane that is fucked up and looks like it's been here for about 20 years, never been touched, and probably never even struck for parts, honestly. Yeah, if I had to guess, it's some sort of, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it carried some bombs or something. Well, it looks like it's a rescue plane. Um, <laughs> And I think that's if the pilots need to be rescued. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, as we can see, we can see a good visual of the cockpit and how this bird used to fly. Um, they obviously, they have some damage up there in the window. You can pretty much see. It looks like the cockpit's pretty much blocked off from the cargo. So it might have been a cargo plane. Um, it was the U.S. Army used it for something. <laughs> I'm not sure what it was. Yeah. If you know about this plane, go ahead and leave a leave a comment down below. Yeah, all of my followers are very well well versed in the uh, aviation world and old planes. So yeah, um, looks like it's a huge missile. <laughs> I have a feeling that's a fuel pod I don't or know, something. Because it looks like it has these for some kind of trajectory of uh, let it go. And, maybe, maybe. Uh, going. Maybe it's Why would just... a fuel uh, cannula well need these? Is my, my question. Yeah, uh, we can see. We can try and see if we're Those look like air brakes or something. Oh, this is fucked up. What is this for, Ethan? I think it's a brake. I think it's to help the plane slow down. Oh, like a speed brake? Maybe this was like a dive bomber or something. It looks like a you know? uh, something for bombing because they have these huge bombs. <laughs> yeah. Um, very and huge engine too. Is that an exhaust? That's the exhaust from the engine. Holy crap! It's I could fit bigger than that. yeah. <laughs> I literally. Could How many Hanas could we put in one engine? Yeah, literally. But overall, very cool airplane. Hasn't been touched. Nobody has stripped it for parts yet. So I just think this is su a super interesting opportunity to show you guys just how much is wasted in aviation all of these planes probably cost uh, upwards of a million dollars yeah so um and especially all the things and instruments inside of it i am noticing it looks like they added a little transponder fin down there but i haven't seen this thing flying ever and yeah. i've been here for like five years but as we can see in the back we have three uh rudders for stabilization or something. Um, I've never seen more than two rudders on a plane. I've seen the, the rudders be on here and then a rudder here. So very stable plane. I'm guessing it's used for uh, being really in the dog fights. So they, <laughs> they can have as much maneuverable as possible. This plane, I think this is the extra fuel. Yeah, that would uh, track. I saw this one new in the CAF. Uh, and they basically just have extra fuel sinks on the end, so, um, you know, take longer flight and whatnot. So now we're getting to our little planes in aviation, and this one looks perfectly fine. It hasn't been flown in over six months, but as we can see, all the tires are very flat, um, which is very interesting. It's tied down and everything, but if we look in the cockpit, everything, well, there's a piece of the airplane in it, so... There might be a problem with that, but it looks like a perfectly good airplane, honestly. Um, lots of towels for some reason to do mischievous things, but everything looks pretty good. There's even a headset in there, um, and nobody has even touched this in the last six months to a year, um, and everything looks pretty good. All the flight controls work well. If I, if I could buy this plane, I totally would. Um, I have no clue who it belongs to. But it tells me that this plane would be a lot of money to pick up. Oh yeah, probably since it hasn't flown in a few months, but if it was just the tires, I would totally buy this thing. When was Formula One? Do you, it was in October, right? Yeah. So I remember in October we had to tow this plane from like over down near coast, across those T-hangers. 
and we pulled it over here and putting air in that nose wheel is a pain in the butt because it's dry rotted and as you can see over here on the there is no oil or any sort of air in this uh, shock right there. So every time it would go over a little bump, the whole plane would shake and it was just oh my gosh. crazy. But we, we pulled it with the tractor, we got it over here, and uh, it has sat here for at least six months. It's probably been around even longer than that. Probably older than me. Guys, <laughs> I am 19 for reference, and this thing's probably from the 50s, I would assume, honestly. Maybe. Yeah. What? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh, be careful. I'm gonna try and hold this while he... No, it's locked. Oh, uh, you need the key. Down. You can see all, like, there's literally, like, barnacles <laughs> forming yeah, from being out here. Just, like, this is like moss or something. It's like mold. Mold or moss growing on it. Well, luckily, it gives us a really good view on the inside, and the cockpit looks perfectly pristine. Um, is it the keys on the dash? Is the keys on the dash? <laughs> I can't even see it. Oh, the keys are on the dash. So I guess, so close. literally so close, but so far. But I do really like the color on the inside. Yeah. The like pastel, very 80s. Uh, so much inside. Gives me a really good view in the seats. So yeah, that's like, uh, this one had a gear collapse and they had to bungee all the nose wheel so that, oh, the wind is really, so that it could stand up straight. And you can see the damage here too. See how much it bent it up. Um, but of course the inside's probably gonna look so pristine. Activity. So as we see, one of the seats is totally dismounted and put on another seat. That poor, poor seat. All right, guys, this is our last plane. And this is a Navy trainer, a multi-engine, of course. And as we can see, it has no propeller. <laughs> it has no engine. Um, we do have one engine over here. So uh, for reference, that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, and that is what we got. <laughs> and if we look uh, at the more extensive damage it looks like they just took off this whole thing i don't know why there's rocks here so they use the rocks to keep it balanced and and so that way if there's strong wind it won't tip onto the heavier side oh that's smart okay yeah i yeah. know that well there's your answer for that um and they tied some sort of rope but very interesting to see just how much damage a plane can go through before they're like yeah no i'm leaving this and abandoning it in some weird uh, airport yeah and if you look inside it looks perfectly normal see it looks perfectly fine i'm guessing the cost of the engine was too much to keep the plane but um it looks pretty oh my god is that you <laughs> Okay, so they have a step here and a step here. So I'm gonna get on top to show you guys. Um, the cockpit looks completely fine. Um, it's really hard to see, it's the only thing. Yeah, the cockpit looks completely fine on the inside. But the seats are ripped out. Oh, I would kill for a plane like this. But it is definitely eerie looking at all these planes um in their abandoned state i think it's kind of cool it's like a ghost town um but for aircrafts um but yeah i think this is pretty cool all right guys that is the end of the video i hope you guys really enjoyed of course me and ethan enjoyed uh rummaging through all the broken down planes for you guys um i have a patreon uh, it starts at a dollar if you guys want to check that out i post a lot of extra clips of my life and you, i talk to you a lot more on there I also have a Venmo and PayPal if you guys want to donate to me so I can continue making these great videos for you guys. Um, other than that, this was a great uh, educational uh, sort of video to make for you guys. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video.